my name is Macy. Um, this is your 60 minute sun salutation flow sequence. Um, I'm with Mind and Body Oasis. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, help us get to 1,000 subscribers, and can't wait to flow with you. We'll get started in just one minute. Welcome, good morning everyone. You don't need anything for this practice but your mat, um, maybe some water if you want, and um, a blanket for Shavasana, blocks if you want. Okay, so we'll get started. Let me grab a clock to make sure we're on time. We'll get started seated for this practice. So. Make your way a nice, comfortable seat. Take your time. Welcome. It's great to see you guys. I know it's early, so we'll take a few minutes to settle in. Let your hands fall on your knees, on your lap. As we sit here, let your eyes close. Start to notice the sensation of your breath. Noticing how your body moves on your inhales. How it moves with your exhales. I know it's early morning for most of you. Take a moment to commit to being on your mat for the next 60 minutes. Maybe you had a stressful night of sleep or a frustrating day yesterday. See if you can let that go. Commit to breathing, to moving, checking in with your body. Deepen your inhales, feeling your spine lengthen. And nice long exhales, letting your shoulders drop away from your ears. See if you could empty your lungs of all air. Maybe pause at the bottom of that exhale. Deep inhale. Nice long, steady exhale. pause at the bottom. Your breath. A few more rounds here. When we take time to notice our exhales, making them long, steady, even, helps decrease our anxiety, gives us a little peace. One more round of your breath. Bring your hands to your heart center, palms touch. Take a moment here. Maybe you set a specific intention. This is your meditative sun salutation flow. Most of you will know these movements, they're familiar. Maybe your intention is to move with your breath, find that flow state. Maybe your intention is just to breathe, come back to that breath whenever you feel tired. Go ahead, open your eyes. Reach your hands nice and high above your head, gaze up. Bring your palms to touch, and then slowly bring them back down to heart center. Move through that two more times. You reach up nice and high, gaze up. Exhale, palms press together, hands through heart center. Nice, one more time, big inhale. Palms touch. 
Let your hands fall by your hips, chin to chest, breathing into that upper neck. Pause. Bring your chin towards your um, right side, right shoulder. And back through center. Chin towards the left. Back to center, moving with your breath. Maybe you want to pause, taking a moment on one side or the other. Two more full breaths here. our hips a bit today. Let's start by um, bringing our legs nice and wide. Starting with just a gentle fold. Maybe move some flesh out from under your bottom. Let your chest be nice and open. Big inhale here. Exhale, gently walk your fingers forward. No need to go far. Starting to breathe into those inner thighs. Flex your feet. A few moments here. One more breath. And walk those hands back to center. Go ahead, bring the soles of your feet to the earth, fingertips behind your hips, coming into altar pose. So if this is enough for you, hands on the ground, chest nice and open, you can stay here. Option to press hands and feet into the mat, raise those hips, making a flat surface with your body, like you're Offering up a sacrifice, hips a little higher, head can drop back, breathe. Really using the strength of your legs for another three, two, one, chin to chest, we slowly come to our bottoms. Go ahead, roll over those knees, hands and feet. We meet in tabletop. From here, move right into your cat-cow. So maybe we stay here in traditional cat-cow, dropping belly, rounding spine. Maybe your body's asking for hip circles, speak your eights, you decide, close your eyes, move with your breath, whatever your body, your spine is asking for. Another three, four rounds of breath. Eventually, we meet back in center tabletop. Take a moment, check in with your hands, nice wide yogi fingers. Shoulders, elbows, wrists, stacked, spine long, core engaged. Go ahead, tuck up your toes. A little stability here, right leg long, foot flex, hips square. From here, left hand forward, pause, gaze straight down, take a moment, re-engage that core. From here, open left hand wide and right leg to the side. So getting into that outer right hip, nice. Back to center, inhale, open. Exhale, back to center. One more time, maybe you feel this in your obliques. And back to center. Bend your right knee, reach that hand around to grab your foot, tiger's pose. Pressing foot into hand, hand into foot, opening left shoulder to the side of the room. Nice, you guys, so strong, breathe. And release, hand and knee to the earth. Give that right wrist a little love. Wriggle it side to side. Back to center. Left leg long. Foot flex. 
flex, check in with those hips. They both point towards the mat. Reach your right arm out long. Hold. Lengthen a little more through that heel and finger hips. And open, hand to the right, leg to the left. Back to center. Inhale, open. And exhale, back to center. One more time, open wide. And back to center, tiger's pose. Bend your knee, reach for foot. Really open that right shoulder towards the side of the room, holding here for three, two, release. Hand and knee to the earth, wriggle that left wrist a bit. Coming into a modified child's pose, we're gonna start with our toes tucked, knees a bit wide. Let your chest drop, fingertips out long. So this is um, like normal child's pose, toes are just staying tucked as we wake up those feet. You can bring your forehead to the earth, pause. From here, walk those fingertips out just a bit more, coming onto your fingertips, palms raised. Walk hands to the right. Really breathing into that left side body. If your feet are hurting, you can release your toes. Back through center, walking on those fingertips all the way to the left. Breathe. And back to center. If you haven't already, release your toes, hips heavy, child's pose. Breathing here, coming into that ujjayi breath. This breath is super important for our practice. Because you'll be following your breath. So you can listen to my cues, but really important to stay with your pace. Letting go of any tension in your face, hips feel heavy. Inhale, we rise forward, tabletop. Tuck those toes, hips high, first down dog. Pedal out your feet, find some movement. You can shake your head yes and no. Eventually we find stillness really pressing our hands into the earth. Slight outward rotation of our upper arms. Nice long spine, hips reaching high. You can keep a slight bend in your knees. One more breath. Inhale, roll forward, we meet in high plank. From here, first chaturanga, option to drop your knees, chest, chin, all the way down. Inhale through to baby cobra, getting into our back, waking up that back core. Little to no weight in your hands, chest nice and open, back strong. One more inhale. Exhale, forehead to the earth. Baby cobra, one more time. Inhale, we rise. Check in with your legs. See if you can squeeze your inner thighs together. Glutes tight. One more breath. Forehead to earth. Walk your hands back a bit, right about the top of your ribs. Pressing into the mat, we rise for full cobra. So my full cobras, um, bend in your elbows. Keep those elbows in nice and tight. That chest working its way through our biceps, tops of feet and legs on the earth. One more breath. Slowly come down. Tuck your toes. See if you can press into hands and toes right into high plank. Shift those hips back down, dog. Next, inhale, bend your knees a lot, gaze forward. Exhale, walk your feet to your hands. Take your time. When we 
we get there, halfway lift. This time we'll pause, pressing hands into shins. So check in with that spine, nice and long, gaze straight down. Your weight towards the balls of your feet. Find some tension, press your hands into shins, let shoulders draw away from ears. Exhale, ragdoll, bend your knees a lot. Option to grab opposite elbows. Maybe you sway side to side. Switch that grip, opposite hand, the opposite elbow. And fold. Bend your knees a lot, chin to chest. Slowly rise. Head and shoulders, the last things to come up. Feel your legs engage. Each vertebrae stack. We meet at the top of our mats. Big shoulder roll back, hands alongside our body. Mountain pose. Take a moment here. Maybe close your eyes. Feel the weight in all four corners of your feet. Those feet are strong, they carry us around all day. Legs engage. Nice strong quads. Flatten that low back. So if you think about engaging your bandhas, right? In yoga, our bandhas are energy locks. So your pelvic floor will help give you stability and strength. Help keep your core strong. So it's like you're doing a Kegel, cutting off the flow of urine. Really engaging that pelvic floor. Throughout practice, check in with that. See if you could keep it engaged. Shoulders drop away from the ears. Palms facing forward, neck long. One more moment in mountain pose. Open those eyes, reach up, gaze up. Exhale, twist to the right, arms to a T. So you can keep your hips facing forward. Gaze to the right or over your right fingertips. Breathe. And back to center. Inhale, rise. Exhale, twist to the left. Keep those hips facing center. Gaze can be over your left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, practice your arms. Big, open chest. Don't dump weight into that low back. Instead, rise that chest high. And fingertips high. Exhale, hands to heart center. Sana Sikihi. Okay, we're gonna get flowing. Five Sana A's. Listen to my breath. Move with your, excuse me, listen to my cues. Move with your breath. When you're ready, inhale, we rest. Reach up, gaze up. Exhale, flat back, swan dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, chaturanga. Option to drop knees, lower halfway down, your practice. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, hips back, down dog. One cleansing breath here. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, out of your mouth. Inhale, bend your knees, gaze forward. Exhale, step or walk top of your mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, gaze up, reach up. Right back down, exhale, fold. Maybe your eyes are closed, moving with your breath. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, chaturanga, high or low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. One cleansing breath here, deep inhale. Exhale, out of your mouth. Inhale, bend your knees, gaze forward. Exhale, step, walk, or hop, top of your mat, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, root to rise, gaze up, reach up. Three more times, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. 
Exhale, plant your hands, chaturanga. If you're working on your jump back, we land in low push-up. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Your breath here one time. Next, inhale, bend your knees, gaze forward. Exhale, top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach to rise, reach up, gaze up. Flowing here, exhale, we fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. One breath. Next, inhale, bend your knees, gaze forward. Exhale, top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Last one, A, make it strong, intentional. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant your hands, chaturanga dandasana. Up dog. Big exhale, down dog. We'll be here five breaths. Option for down dog, child's pose, maybe dolphin forearms to the earth. In dolphin or child, we'll all meet in down dog, hips high. From here, walk your hands the width of your mat. Make space. We're going to jump our feet through our hands, landing in boat. So big bend of your knees. Go ahead, shoot those legs forward, landing on your bum. Feet come high right away. Nice job, you guys. Fingertips long. Firing up that core, big and high. Option to stay here. Exhale, hold. Option to open up that boat. Inhale, fingertips high, toes long. Reach. Exhale, back to center. Inhale. And center. Inhale. Back to center. Three more times, big inhale, and crunch. Two more times, reach, and center. Last time, big inhale. If you're here, hold for five, maybe unflutter those feet. Three, everyone coming onto their back, relax, fingertips by your side. Soles of feet to touch, knees fall open wide. Breathing a moment here, reclined butterfly. If you want to chill, you can stay right here, hands on your hips by your sides. If you want to keep firing up that core, I've heard these called uh, yogi crunches, I'm not actually sure, but hands behind your head. Let your thumbs cradle that neck. And take a moment here, feel your core engaged. So we're not yanking our neck up, we're coming from our core. We keep these legs in butterfly and slowly bring your chest up towards the sky. Little crunch here and lower back down. If you wanna amp it up, you can raise your feet a few inches. We'll come through about 15 of these crunches. About another 10. I've got another five, four, three, two, 
and one, everything to the mat. Let those legs reach long, fingertips reach high. Big, full body stretch. Reach, 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 toes pointed. Nice, knees into chest. Take some spinal rolls here. We'll roll all the way up into chair pose. See if you can make your way without your hands. Take another two rolls. Feet on the earth. Oh, didn't quite make it. Fingertips high. Chair pose. Nice, you guys. Inhale, rise. Straighten those legs. Give them a little break. Fingertips reach you nice and high. Exhale, hands to heart center. We'll flow through three sun salutation beats. Again, if this is in your practice, option to close your eyes, keep that flow. Use my breath as a guide, excuse me, my cues as a guide. Bend those knees with fingertips along the floor. First, take a moment here in chair. Hands can be at heart, so that feels better on your shoulders. Feet hip width apart or toes touch. Let those hips be a little lower. One more inhale here. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, chaturanga. Always option to skip it. Meet us in down dog. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, hips back. Right away, inhale, right leg high. Exhale, step it forward. So your decision, um, warrior one or high lunge. My warrior one, I'll talk us through this, we'll take a few moments here. Front toes facing forward, 45 degree angle with your back foot. Your feet might need to be a little bit wider than you're used to to keep those hips facing center. Right, so both hip points are moving towards the front. Think of your feet like they're on railroad tracks, not a tightrope. Reach those hands high. Maybe bring palms to touch. Big inhale here. Exhale, plant your hands. Step back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Right away, left leg high. Big inhale. Exhale, step it forward. High lunge, you know where you're going. Warrior one, same thing. Bend in that left leg, 90 degree with that back foot. Check in with your hips, both hips facing forward. Maybe reach those hands nice and high. Option to bring palms to touch. Big inhale. Exhale, here we go, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Cleansing breath here. Option to flutter your lips. Inhale. Exhale, flutter. Next, inhale, bend your knees, gaze forward. Exhale, step or hop, top of your mat. Halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, drop those hips, chair pose. Won't be here long, one inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. Here we go, one breath to one movement. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, step it forward. Inhale, high lunge or warrior one, one big breath. Exhale, right back down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Other side, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step it forward. Big inhale, we rise. Exhale, right back down. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. Breathe. One breath here, you decide. Next, inhale, bend your knees, gaze forward. Exhale, top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. 
Exhale, chair pose. Let's flow through this one more time. You got it, stay super strong. Long spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, zip it forward. Inhale, rise, big inhale, feel all the way up. Exhale, down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, that blood is flowing. Exhale, down dog. Left leg high, big inhale. Exhale, step it forward. Inhale, rise, feel those lungs. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Your exhale, child's pose. Knees wide. Hips towards heels. Come back to that Ujjayi breath. Back through tabletop. Tuck those toes, hips high, down dog. From here, right leg high. Bend your knee, open your hip towards the right. Option to come into um, flip dog. Let your right toes come towards the earth. Right fingers reaching long. You decide. Breathing wherever you're at for another three. Two, one. We all need three-legged dog, right leg high. Exhale, step that right foot forward. Drop your left knee, release your toes. Inhale, we rise, low lunge. Reach those fingertips nice and high. Exhale, sink a little deeper. Let those hips shift forward. Maybe your gaze is up. One more inhale. Exhale, hands to the earth. Tuck your back toes, pyramid pose. Straighten your right leg. So my back heel can walk in a bit, both toes pointing forward. Let that right hip come back just a bit. One breath here. Bend into your right knee, left hand to the earth, right hand high, big, easy twist. Let your shoulders stack, chest open to the right. One breath. Right hand plants. Left leg shoots high. Excuse me, right leg rather, right leg, same leg. And exhale, step it forward, same right leg. Inhale, we rise, high lunge. And exhale, warrior two. So this right leg is still forward. Take a moment to find a nice open hip in this warrior two. Right leg bent, rooting through the razor edge of that back foot. Gaze over right fingers. One more breath. Exhale, cartwheel hands down, step it back. One legged chaturanga or meets in down dog. Hips high. Left leg high, bend your knee, open your hip. Stay here or flip that dog. Wherever you're at, we're breathing for another three, two, and one. We all meet three legged dog, left leg high. Exhale, step it forward, low lunge. Let those fingertips reach towards the sky. Your hips reaching forward. One more breath. Exhale, plant those hands. Tuck your back toes, pyramid pose. Straighten this left leg. Maybe you need to walk your back foot in a bit. Then 
bend into your left knee. Plant right hand, left hand high, easy twist. Stack those shoulders. Left hand to the earth. Left foot reaches high, same way. Exhale, step it forward. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Nice bend in this left knee. Nice wide stance. Breathe. Next exhale, cartwheel hands down. One legged chaturanga or skip it. Up dog. And down dog. From here, find some movement. Give your head a little shake. Yes and no. Finding stillness. Right leg high. Bend your knee. Option for fallen triangle. One breath. I'll meet in three-legged dog. Right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Step it forward. Drop your left knee. One breath here. Low lunge. Reach those fingertips high. Exhale, hands down, pyramid pose, shift those hips back. Nice, one breath here. Inhale, bend into your right knee, easy twist, right hand high. Exhale, right hand to the earth, switching it up here. Turn your left heel down, warrior two. Nice, you guys, so strong. Inhale, right feet, fingers reach forward. Exhale, reverse that warrior. Big side body stretch. Inhale, right elbow to right knee, side angle. Left fingers reaching forward. Let's flow through that reverse warrior to side angle three times together. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. One more time, reverse. And side angle. From here, option to work on half bind. Top hand comes around your low back. Fingertips reach for your hip crease. This bottom hand can come to a block or the earth. Breathe. Left fingers reach high, straighten this right leg, triangle pose. So take a moment here. Let your um, shoulders open towards the left. Your bottom hand can reach for your shin, ankle. Peace fingers wrap around big toe. But try to lift out of your left side body. Make space in your right side body. Right, so we're not dumping into it. One more breath. Inhale, reverse that triangle. Keep right leg straight, right hand reaches back. And warrior two. Breathe, one breath here. Inhale, star pose. Both fingertips high, toes to the corners of the mat, gaze up. Exhale, hands to heart center, goddess pose. Pose, drop those hips low. Yeah, bend your knees nice. Check in with that tailbone, give it a little tuck. Nice adjustment. One more breath. Inhale, rise, gaze up, reach up. Exhale, warrior two. Big inhale. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Right leg high. Bend your knee, open up that hip. Exhale, right foot to the earth. Left leg high. Option for flipping that dog. One breath wherever you're at, big inhale. Next inhale, we all meet. Three legged dog. Exhale, step it forward. Drop that back knee. One big inhale, low lunge. 
Exhale, plant your hands, pyramid pose, shift those hips back. Bend into that left knee, left hand high, big easy twist. Exhale, come forward. Next inhale, warrior to this side, part roll, arms open. Inhale, reverse that warrior, left hand reaching back. Inhale, left elbow to left knee, side angle. Take a moment here. Okay, preparing to flow through that three times. Inhale, reverse. Legs stay super strong. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse. And exhale, side angle. One more time, reverse. Side angle, hold. Maybe you're working on this um, half bind, right fingertips reaching for that hip. Go ahead and release that right hand high, left fingertips towards your ankle or earth, triangle pose. Straightening into that left leg. Take a moment using your obliques. Nice, long side body. Gaze can be up or towards the earth. Breathe. Like someone is pulling on this right hand. Inhale, reverse your triangle. And exhale, warrior two. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, rise. One more goddess, knees bent. And rise. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, hold. Exhale, cartwheel those hands down. Left leg shoots high, bend your knee, open your hip. And the left foot to the earth. Switching it up, walk hands to feet, back of your mat, forward fold here. Deep bend in your knees, root to rise, reach up, gaze up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Okay, we're going to play with just a few standing balance and pulses. Starting with our left foot, coming into a tree to start. So your right foot, go ahead and rest it on your ankle. Hands come to heart center. You can move that right foot to your calf, maybe to your inner thigh. You decide, skip that knee. Find your drishti, your point of focus. You can grow your branches, hands reaching high. For a balance challenge, you can close your eyes or gaze up. It's okay to move. Trees move. It's natural. Take one more breath here. Right knee into chest. Hand can come to that knee. We're not quite done. Take a moment here. Right foot flex. From here, open right hand towards the back of the room. Big twist. Breathe. Inhale back to center. Both hands high this time. Option to reach left hand on outside of right foot for moon rise or keep that hand on your knee. You decide. One more twist of your choice. Breathing here. Another four breaths. And slowly come back through center, right foot to feet earth. Give that left ankle some love. Maybe shake your legs out. Okay, back to center. Hands start at heart. Left ankle comes, excuse me, left foot comes to right ankle. 
Take a moment in your tree. Your foot can move to calf, to thigh. You can play with your arms. Maybe find gentle swaying. Left knee comes to chest, both hands to that knee. Next, inhale, left arm reaches behind you, big twist here. See how this feels. Inhale, back to center, both hands high, one-legged mountain. Okay, you decide, right hand outside your foot, moonrise, or maybe that hand stays on your knee. Maybe this side is a little more challenging. Holding here. Another two breaths. Back to center. Those were short two breaths. Shake out that right leg. Maybe give your legs a little tap, tap, tap. And back center. Inhale, fingertips reaching nice and high. Come onto your tippy toes. Take a moment here, finding your balance, lengthening through that whole body, taking as many steps as you can on your tippy toes. We'll slowly come to the top of our mat. See if you can stay raised. When you get there, let those heels drop, hands alongside your body, mat in pose. We'll flow through one more chaturanga. You decide, is it going to be slow, easy, gentle? Are you going to amp it up a little bit? Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg high, coming into pigeon. Right shin to top of your mat. Take a moment here in pigeon. Let your shin be as parallel as you can. Right foot stays flat. Take a moment, chest open. Nice, long, open heart. If you want, you can fold forward. We're going to be here a few breaths. Turning on my timer. We've got 45 more seconds, so soften. Breathe into those hips. Arms in your hands. You can stay right here, chest risen, or you could bend your left knee. Maybe you're just working on bringing that left heel towards your bum. Maybe you can reach left hand around, grabbing your foot by your hand, maybe the crook of your elbow. Working on mermaid. Maybe you're reaching top hand up and around. It's not quite comfortable for me yet, so I like to stay right here. Breathing into that left hip. Holding here for another three, two, and release both hands on the earth. Press into the mat, right leg high. One more option to flip that dog. Really raising those hips high. And back to center, down dog. Left 
leg high. Left shin, top of your mat. Setting up for your pigeon pose on this side. So take a few moments, fingertips by the sides of your leg. Maybe you slowly start to fold forward. Settle in. Maybe you're holding lots of tension, stress, emotion in those hips. See if you can make space. to the earth and stay here chest lifted maybe you bend into your right knee pulling your right heel towards your bum option to reach that right hand or arm back and then here another three breaths Slowly releasing hands to the earth. Raise that left leg high, bend your knee, open your hip. Last option to flip the dog. Raise those hips high. Slowly come back around, down dog. Jumping through those hands, see if you could find a moment of float. Hands wide, bend your knees, gaze forward. On your exhale, jump hand, feet through hands onto your bum. Nice job, you guys. Awesome. <clears throat> so, um, center of our mats, give ourselves space to lie down. This little reverse push up, fingertips long, chest lifted. Start to feel your core engage as we slowly roll down. Take your time. Seeing if you could feel each part of your spine press into the earth, your core working, and slowly release. Heels come towards your bum. Okay, we'll have a little um, bridge sequence here. If you're done working, um, you could bring a block, a blanket, or pillow under your sacrum and hang out in restorative bridge. That's a great option. If you want a little more work, walk your heels towards your bum, fingertips pointing towards feet. Inhale, hips high. Take a moment here and bridge. Check in. Our knees um, don't splay out. They're staying pointed straight. Legs working. You can stay right here, or you can lift right leg to the sky. From here, right foot, uh, stays flexed and slowly comes down. Right leg lifts. Four more times. Comes down and lifts. Reach it down for three. One, two. Last time. Right leg high. Replace right foot on the ground. Hips stay lifted. Press into that right foot, left leg high. Option is stay here. Option reach left leg long and lift. Reach it long and lift. Three more times and lift. Another two hips stay lifted and one. Left foot on the ground and gently lower down, feeling each part of your spine press into the earth. Feet are mat width apart, so let your knees drop side to side, little windshield wiper. Okay, 
same. We have one more bridge or wheel. So bridge, you know where you're going? Well, I think you know where you're going. We're just gonna hang out in bridge. You don't gotta do anything crazy with your legs. If you want a wheel, I'll talk you through that one. Fingertips come by your shoulders. Uh, fingertips pointing towards your shoulders. So palms by your head. We keep our feet nice and strong. On your inhale, come onto the crown of your head. Maybe you stay here. Maybe really press into feet and hands, chest lifts. Stay here for five of your breaths if you can. One more breath. Just slowly lower down. I can't quite talk in that pose. Feet come to touch, knees open wide. Recline to Dvada Konasana. Let your hands come on your belly and maybe reach your hands overhead, grabbing opposite elbows. Taking a few moments here. Maybe you switch that grip, grab opposite elbow. Slowly bring your hands outside your legs, close those knees like a book. Our last pose before Shavasana is lace up the wall. If anything else is calling your name, good time to take it. If you have a block or blanket, you could bring it under your low back, or I like to just use my hands, palms down, walk them underneath that tailbone, knees bent into chest, and straighten up. If your hands start to hurt or fall asleep, obviously you move them away. This legs up the wall, our legs stay straight, so they're still working a bit. Feet flexed. your whole back pressed into the mat. Letting your upper body feel heavy. Move your hands out from under you, bend your knees into chest. We'll take, I guess, one spinal twist. We have a few moments. So your favorite spinal twist, knees drop to the left. Arms come to a T for cactus. back through center, drop them to the right. And center, arms wrap around your shins, pulling yourself into a tiny little ball of energy. Take a moment to tell your body, thank you. Tell your body, I love you. And release. Shavasana, maybe you grab a blanket, switch the music, take up space, let your legs go long, feet open up to the sides, arms alongside your body, palms facing up, take a little body scan, starting from the crown of your head, feeling tension release you think about each body part. Let go of your breath. Go of the sound of my voice. I'll call you back when it's time.
toes. Feel your breath deepen. Return. Reach hands above head. Big full body stretch. And rolling on your favorite side. Knees into chest. Head resting on bicep. Check in with your body in this fetal shape. And gently press yourself up. Easy pose, same place we began. Take a moment, close your eyes. Palms face down, or maybe palms up. Receiving some energy. Hands come to heart center. Revisit that intention. Maybe whisper another thanks to your body for all it does every day. Thank you so much for your breath, movement, effort, and time. The light in me honors the light in each of you. Namaste. Great job, you guys. Um, I'll be on for a few minutes. If you have any questions, concerns, feedback, or just want to say hi. But thank you so much for getting up today. You made it, Car. I'm so glad.